Hi, I'm Michael Brooks from the elusiveobvious.com, and I'm thinking about how the left, the right, and the center thinks and talks about Obama. It seems to me that basically the right lives in a fantasy universe, that he's some type of crypto-socialist, radical, left-wing extremist figure, and the, which he obviously isn't. And then in the center, you basically have a bunch of people who constantly whine and complain and call for Obama to do all of the things he's actually doing. And then on the left, you have, well, on the left, you always have some whining, but you definitely also have some legitimate and real critiques of what he's actually done. So let's look at healthcare as an example, kind of being a classic example to illustrate this. The right said it was this crazy, extreme government takeover of healthcare. The center said he was being too partisan, even though it was a radically centrist, even center right approach to delivering health insurance. And the left didn't like that he gave up on things like the public option. I think foreign policy is a particularly dangerous area where this dynamic shows up because basically Obama's implementing a ruthless and extremely effective and extremely well executed center right foreign policy. On the upside, he's demolishing a lot of Al Qaeda's leadership. He's achieving a lot of really important uh, objectives that Republicans have long called for, and he's actually doing it. And he's actually doing it extremely effectively. On the other hand, all sorts of incredibly important issues from the legality of some of the drone programs in Pakistan and Yemen, serious civilian casualties, the recent detainee bill, all of these really vital issues are being kind of ignored and swept under the rug. And in fact, there isn't a kind of the same type of active left resistance uh, in the Democratic Party on foreign policy issues that there are in domestic issues. So that basically leaves Ron Paul basically critiquing Obama's foreign policy from the radical right and the rest of the mainstream Republican candidates basically saying, oh, yeah, we want to do everything Obama's doing on foreign policy except without any nuance, intelligence or conciliatory speeches. So it's a very dangerous situation and we need to figure out some way of there being a realistic appraisal of what and who Obama is across the board politically, like it or not, which is that he's a centrist, moderate uh, Democrat who's executing uh, policy totally within the mainstream confines of the Washington consensus. And as long as the rhetoric is that he's somehow far to the left, that continues to open up more space for more radicalism to come in because the next the Republican candidates besides Ron Paul and John Huntsman are essentially distinguishing themselves from Obama on foreign policy by saying that they will bomb even more people and openly torture people. And we should never, ever even acknowledge the concerns or grievances of anybody in the Islamic world ever. So it's a very t tricky situation. It's very dangerous, but we could start with just being realistic a little bit about who, who Obama actually is.